Hi everyone, who's some school busters? And today I'm gonna to be talking about this little gem of a car. It has 677 brake horsepower and it only weighs 991 kilos. It's the Mazda MX-5 with the Corvette LT1 engine swap and it's a bit glitched because as you'll see we're going to drop the PP right down by adding tuning parts. So let's get down to it. What, what kind of times is this car doing? So it's doing lap times around the 2 minute mark and it finishes the race in under 25 minutes and 30 seconds. It's a bit of a handful to drive but it's fast, really fast. By the end of the straight you're hitting 223 and through the corners handles like a dream. You can carry loads of speed through them and as you can see I'm already pulling away from the cars behind me no problem. So let's go through how you get the car to 600 pp. You already have the Mazda MX-5 and you or the Mazda Roadster as it's called here and you've already tuned it forget it doesn't work I tried it with another one I've already tuned it messes it up so what you want to do head over to Brand Central get yourself a Mazda Roadster take it to GT Auto and we're going to first of all we're going to put the wide body on and then we're going to put the engine in the LT1 Corvette engine and that's going to take it up from 128 horsepower to 453 massive boost next up we're going to sort out the wings so I went straight to the livery editor this will already put wings on for me, so I went for the C5 livery because we put banging in that Corvette engine and it, it looks pretty sweet in it. So what this is going to add is a custom wing on the back and Type A wings everywhere else. Front, side, rear. Downforce on the rear of this car is going to be your best friend. No shadow of a doubt. Make sure you've got a roll cage on there and then take it over to the tuning stool. Like I said, this is a fresh car, so it's got absolutely nothing on it apart from the bare bones. So first up, you want bore up. Miss high lift camshaft. You want the high compression pistons. Weight reduction, stage one, stage two. And you're gonna want sports medium tires. It's as low as you can go, but it's good enough. And you just about get you to six laps. You're going to want to get the ballast as well, just going to stick a bit of ballast on the back to increase the weight on the rear wheels. Then you're going to want to buy the fully customizable computer. And then the fully customizable LSD. Very important. And after this we're going to increase body rigidity. And then we're going to take it over to the racing tuning parts so first one stroke up bringing the PP down slightly miss out engine balance tuning straight to polish ports and then you're gonna want the racing intercooler and then the high RPM turbo that uh, turbo supercharger caught me out that one racing air filter and then brakes both parts pads and discs the racing exhaust manifold, so we're up at 668, fully customizable suspension, and then the racing transmission drops it down to 600. You can also add the brake balance controller if you want it, and the last one is the carbon propeller shaft in the ultimate section. And just one extra part that I missed off before the racing silencer, and it'll actually push your brake horsepower up to 714. I did test this out, I did really get better lap times, but I did manage to get up to 226 on the straights, so it does give you a little bit extra performance in the race. Right, let's go into the setup. So, we've got the sports medium tyres on, we've got the fully customizable suspension, and the front height is set to 100, and the rear is set to 150. Anti-roll bar, 6, 8, compression, 35, 38, expansion, 45 48 natural frequency 2.7 2.5 negative camber 2 on both uh, toe angles 0 0.05 on the front 
2.2 tools in on the rear. LSD, you want 21, 29 and 21. Downforce, front is set to 66 and the rear is set to 300. Fully customizable ECU on, set to 100. Ballast, set to 8 kilograms and the position is 26 towards the rear. Fully customizable suspension, uh, transmission, set it to 310. Move the final gear over to 2. That'll let you get the values above, which are 119, 225, 275, 325, 375, and 465. Nice, long uh, beginning gears for as much or as little wheel spin as possible. That That's what I forgot to put on before, the intercooler. For some reason, I had to set it off. Does nothing to the PP. Five for an extra 20 horsepower, whatever it is. Uh, and then just make sure you've got everything on. And you see I've not got the silencer on there. That'll bump it up to that 714. Brake balance controller. Set that to how you want it. Uh, clutch set to normal. And the carbon propeller shaft on. And that's it. So let's get into the lap times. So coming down the main straight here. We're on fuel map one all the way through. Got fresh tyres on. Not much wear on them and we're running lower on fuel than we was in the first stint. And we're going to come up to the first turn and you're going to brake just as you get past the green signs. There you go, just brake, 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 brake. And then when you need to turn, let the car roll around the corner. It is very twitchy up here so be careful with the accelerator. Still in second, still in second and then gently on the throttle out. Don't floor it because you'll just spin the, spin the back and it'll go out of control. Next up, got the long left hander, just letting the car coast around the corner, keeping it tight to the wall on both turn three and four, and then heavy on the brakes down to 100 mile an hour for the next chicane, and then power on as soon as you straightened up. Remember, not on the power too early because this car is twitchy. Brakes before the bridge, letting the car roll through the corner again and then on the power off. Staying on the dry line at all times. Same again for that corner, just tap on the brakes. Bringing it down to 100 mile an hour again for this corner. And then just letting the car coast around this last major corner. And then we're going to floor it all the way down to the hairpin. You're going to brake under the 200 meter mark. It'll be flashing at you to brake earlier, but it's fine. 200 metres will do. And then just letting the car roll around the corner once you get down to 40. Shift up a gear so you don't get loads of wheel spin, but you're still going to have to be gentle on the throttle. Uh, shift up if you need to, and you still might get wheel spin, so just try and edge it out. I think in this car, I've got the setting to, of traction control at the moment set to zero. I think it'd be easier and better for the wheels if it was set to 1 or 2. And there you go, 2018. It's not as fast as the cappuccino, but because it's stability and it's need for only one stop, really, it comes out with a good time overall. Um, I've seen one guy on GT Planet, which is where I got the inspiration for this tune from. Uh, he found the glitch. I forgot his name now. I think he's like Bob or something. Um, page 75 of the WTC 600 Tokyo page um, he got a 2511 uh, and like I said on this race, particular race I only I didn't have the full amount of horsepower to my advantage so you never know you could get under 25 minutes if you're really really good with this car it, I reckon the suspension I've been fiddling around with it it needs some tweaking to make it more stable. Uh, if you can get it more stable, dial down that oversteer, I reckon this could be a winner, this car, almost as fast as the cappuccino. And it's a new car, and the en it's just an engine swap, so it's available to anyone who's a level 50 collector. You don't have to wait for cars to cycle round. 
uh, and it's something different as well so you're not relying on the one car for Tokyo very good car to be honest I just wish it sounded a bit uh, meatier you expect a muscle engine to sound a bit like it's got a bit more grunt that's my only complaint about it so there you go um, talk about strategy I've got around fuel map through there just ignore that you can do it on one all the way through it's no problem strategy just pit at the end of lap 6 for your tyres that's all you're relying on in this race tyres not your fuel your fuel will go 8 laps on its own so if you really wanted to you could go on sports hard tyres and run the 8 laps but you need that grip in the rear tyres and that's it folks so I hope you uh, this video has been helpful for you and if it has leave a like subscribe and we've got more coming soon see you then adios